I'd love to start with the Ukrainian SU-27 because it's a beast. An enjoyable display, just not quite what I was really hoping for, although in fairness I only saw the practice. I want to kick things off with our first show of the year, IWM Duxford Air Festival and the French Air Force Rafale. And coming in at number five, this display is impossible to portray fully in video, not least because of how difficult it was to film. Intense, fast and high G, graceful display, and to top it all off, a bright paint scheme too, easily inside our top five. Number four, six aeroplanes. At number four, I'm sticking with Duxford, this time the September show, and the superb sight and sound of Hawker's finest in formation together. We used to sing large formations of Spitfires at Duxford, as indeed we did in 2017, but this year it's worth giving credit to those who made the effort to bring these hurricanes together. And it is hurricanes. If you hear an airshow commentator saying hurricane, you are obliged to wince. On to our only overseas venture in 2017, NATO Days in Ostrava. And this one makes number three in tribute to anyone who spent time suffering the effects of the weather at air shows last year. NATO Days was hit hard and we spent the weekend with very little flying taking place, sheltering from the rain. But just before our flight back to the UK, the Saudi Hawks obviously had some diesel that was in desperate need of vaporising and put on a practice show. The airport authorities given me a normally frowned upon filming location for some unique material of their routine. A fun experience to cap off an otherwise slightly disappointing weekend. Now on to number two, I'm a sucker for a traditional brute force fast jet display and this display comes under that category. The Italian Air Force Tornado displaying at RAF Cosford. I watched this display whilst recording interviews with the Apache guys. It's a handy interruption to an interview because you get to sit and watch the display rather than try and record someone speaking over the tornado. So I got to enjoy the fantastic sight of the aeroplane browning around over the airfield in that fabulous ski. From the Italians back to the French, I'm afraid. The Cattu Delta are my pick for its number one display in 2017. To be honest, this isn't just from the perspective of their display from the ground. The team do a really good job of getting some fabulous onboard views, which of course is something that we really treasure at Planes TV. We're well used to seeing the French put on some imaginative T-ship routines, and this was certainly one of those. But as I say, the team spoiling us with those onboard views, which help us out of Planes TV when we're in the edit, trying to put together a dramatic portrayal of the display. So not everyone's going to agree with my top five. Do let us know in the comments below if you've got your favourite top five from 2017. 